My research assistant, Matt James, has updated the Validity Master to include a couple new things. Let me show you. I'm just going to show you the plugin and what it does, and then I'll show you where to get it and all that. Here it is. Just as before, it produces a correlation matrix with the square root of the AVE on the diagonal and the CR, the composite reliability, and the ABE columns right here, as well as MSV and max R. Additionally, it provides significance indications with asterisks and what those mean down here, and it interprets the matrix if there are issues and provides those issues or warnings down here. Notice, for example, decision quality, the square root of the AVE is less than its correlation with information acquisition. And so that's a problem. Notice also the composite reliability of multi down here is less than 0.7, and so it's also red flagged. And there are a few other issues. Each of those is described right down here. Now, we also provide the confidence intervals for the CR and the AVE, the lower bound and upper bound for each of those. Where the upper bound might cross one, we cap it at one, and where the lower bound might cross zero, we floor it at zero. As before, we also have the heterotrait, monotrait, HTMT analysis that is also interpreted. If there is a ratio that is greater than 0.9, it is flagged, and we provide an interpretation down below. We also now provide confidence intervals, lower and upper, in their own matrices for the HTMT analysis. Again, we floor things at zero and we cap things at one. If anything shows up greater than 0.9, again, we will flag that for you. We also provide the references, where these thresholds come from, and a way to cite this tool if you'd like. I hope that's helpful. Thank you, Matt, for making that possible. Now, where to get the plugin? Same as usual, if you go to the StatWiki, go to the Plugins Info link, and then go to the Google Drive Plugins and Estimates folder, and then go to version 26 or higher, and here it is, it's called the Amos 26 HTMT Validity Confidence Interval CI Test DLL. That's the file, you would have to right click it and download, and then make sure when you do get it, that you keep it and make sure to right click it and go to properties and check the unblock option. That'll make it so that it works when you drag it into the correct folder. The correct folder is listed on the stat wiki, but I will just show you here that folder is operating system, users, your username, app data, local, Amos development, Amos 26 plugins. It goes in this folder. If you can't see the app data folder, you need to go to view and check the box for hidden items. And then restart Amos and it should work. Enjoy.